Baboons are an incredibly intelligent animal. Other species are afraid just to confront them. Leopards, lions, and even crocodiles in the water. These are the world's best predators. Even so, they are wary just to approach the baboon. In today's episode, you will see the 15 painful moments where the baboon fights against the evil crocodiles just to rescue their baby from certain death. It is harsh noon and the sun is covering the entire forest. Mealtime has come. A pack of baboons is moving across the waters. Crocodiles can smell their presence. They begin to surface and explore what is around. A baboon is carrying the baby across the river. This has caught the eye. On shore, another herd of antelope is looking for food. Now the crocodile is confused. Which prey to choose? Meanwhile, a fight is going on next door. A baboon has strayed into the antelope territory, and they are not pleased. The alligator must move closer ashore, coming nearby to the drinking baboon. Now, the crocodile can use his long snout to attack the monkey who is sitting ashore. After threatening and attacking, it quickly takes the baby from the baboon. The incredibly angry baboons must attack the enemy back. After such a long time, finally, the baby is snatched up and taken away. Can the mother get him back? One of the baboon's packs has his arm bitten off during a fight with the alligator. This is a treacherous war between two fierce enemies. In the fields, a fierce struggle is taking place. The poor baboon is being clamped down on by the crocodile's head and his sharp teeth. Another monkey sees his friend getting attacked. Now, the pack of baboons must come in to help and try to pull them away. In this clip, the monkey was drinking water when suddenly the crocodile has bitten his hand. Surprised by the enemy's attack, he can hardly struggle. The sharp teeth are the assassin of the land. Helpless, the monkey can only bear the pain. He is no longer able to fight. The crocodile brings his prey ashore to a deserted place to enjoy his delicious meal. Now, all he has to do is wait for the monkey to give up. It is a hearty meal for the giant crocodile in one swoop of a swallow. In the wild, leopards are always the natural enemy towards baboons. This big cat will never spare the monkeys when given an opportunity. Therefore, baboons are always facing high alert against the leopards. In this clip, we've captured the monkeys quickly uttering a loud cry to warn their fellows. Now they must scare the opponent. They have seen the leopard approaching near the riverbanks. Fearing that he is in danger of being attacked by the monkeys, the leopard must run away. Meanwhile, some other monkeys do not hesitate to pursue the leopard. They are brave and cautious, ensuring that the leopard does not attack again. 
They must threaten in numbers. It is a hot, sunny day. The leopard is sitting in a tall branch, observing everything that happens below. In the dead heat, he has identified two targets, the baboon and an antelope. Without thinking too much, the leopard chooses the antelope. This is today's target. Because it is shy to encounter the baboons, the leopards are incredibly intelligent. Yet, baboons can be a difficult approach. They are cunning and witty, and they are not to be messed with when in such a large herd like this. Grazing about the grasslands, they seem to be unaware of the leopard's presence. The monkeys sit eating and feeding their young. At the nearby outcrop, the leopards are slowly attacking, observing their prey. Now they must be probed for a long time. But it seems that the antelopes have moved and it is difficult to approach. All of this process has been seen by a group of monkeys nearby. They do not seem to like the leopard much. Now they can signal their group to gather and discuss how to scare the leopard away. Nearly reaching his goal, the leopard was interrupted by a pack of baboons. They angrily try to counter attack and they are so crowded that the leopard must give up his initial plan. Faced with an encirclement, the monkeys gather in a crowd, trying their best to intimidate the leopard. The leopard will not stay long after this. Now he must find a new target for his lunch. Commotion near the riverbank. A poor baboon is being drowned by the crocodile, struggling wildly to escape the clenched jaws. But he has failed. The herd on the shore can now only watch and make sounds of mourning as their fellow is being bitten and chewed up. It is an unexpected thing to finally happen. But the baboon manages to escape death and quickly runs ashore. A young male baboon is clutching onto something very tightly. Within seconds, the baboon tosses his hands. To a surprise, it is a small leopard. The leopard is dead and the baboon picks it up. It's related to death and the small animals. However, after just a few seconds of observation, he realizes this leopard is still alive. The kidnapper is still very fond of this small animal. The baboon sits patiently hugging the baby, even looking to check if it's okay. Although somewhat clumsy, baboons are very gentle. They do not often harm other leopards. This kidnapper has hugged the small animal running with the herd. Though not long after, the leopard has encountered her missing child, laying in the arms of the baboon. This must be a time to take revenge. As soon as the leopard reaches the treetops, the baboon discovers the predator's intentions. Very early, the leopard has surprised, becoming flustered, not knowing whether to attack or retreat. Seeing the leopard's confusion, the baboon dashed, scaring the leopard and slipping from the branches. The 
fierce battle of a pack of baboons and a leopard has broken out, taking revenge because the others dare to touch their young. The leopard kills the baby's baboons, and the mother baboon took away the body from the herd. Just a few moments later, the leopard cub was lying motionlessly on the ground. This is the bitter end. A mother leopard and a group of many cubs begin to cross the road. They must find safety in a tree to live in. A crocodile crawls ashore to bask in the sun. Though not long after, a pack of lions have spotted the lone crocodile, immediately approaching. The male lion launches without warning, leaving the crocodile in a passive position. In just a moment, the lion is able to jump on the back, taking control of the prey, wrestling it down. Meanwhile, the lioness in the pack are standing around, ready to rush in. Although the crocodile possesses thick scales, the male lion can bite into the skin, causing the opponent to cry out in pain. Too angrily, the crocodile opens its large mouth, headed straight to the enemy to respond. Faced with the threat of the swamp killer, the male lion seems to be in hesitation. Soon, he gives up, staying away from the enemy. This time, it is not worth it. The eagle is an extremely large bird of prey. Living in very high mountainous and primitive forests, the eagle perches on a high cliff, looking around and searching. It has spotted the cub, playing with its mother, waiting for an opportunity to attack. The eagle realizes the time has come. Cubs roam, deciding to swoop down and grab the cub alive. Thanks to its large body and its ability to fly, the eagle uses his sharp talons to grab the cub, lifting it into the air. Now choosing a perch on a high branch to devour this full meal. Seeing the poor child being murdered by the enemy, the mother begins her chase. When she arrives, the leopard cub has already been killed by the eagle. The mother leopard climbs up the tree, pouncing onto the eagle. This is taking revenge. After a long and desperate hunt, the Lord Eagle has been exhausted so much that he cannot escape the leopard's clutches. This incident has begun when the wildebeest was down at the river, attracting the hungry crocodiles. At the same time, the hippopotamus was also near. And just seconds later, the hippos have rushed in to fight. It is annoyed by the loud sounds and the scuffle. The poor wildebeest, in addition to trying to escape desperately from the jaws of the crocodile, continues to use the little remaining strength to fight the big teeth of the hippopotamus firmly embedded in the back. Finally, due to exhaustion, the wildebeest is lucky to escape death. Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for your attention. 
If you love videos about fighting animals, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.